Hi guys, welcome to the Seven Money Show with me, your host Sean. So today we're talking about inflation, a bit of breaking news, and then the market. The market's sold off with a correction, not a crash, a correction, uh, because apparently inflation rose to 5.6%. But if you take out the food, energy, and used cars, inflation it comes down to 4.5%. Why do we take those out? Well, because the fake inflation numbers. Oh, energy costs, because the, all the oil reserves were used up. But then we've got to realise OPEC have just, allowed, uh, have just announced that they're allowing uh, an increase in output. So they will start increasing those reserves. You, you will have, uh, and that has actually dropped the price of barrel of oil today. So that will decrease the inflation on energy. You have f food inflation, which will come down. Remember, this is because uh, the Suez Canal backlog. And you have used car prices soaring purely because the new cars can't be made because of the semiconductor shortage. Now, this is all uh, supposed to be coming to an end. And we're supposed to be coming out of this. So it's kind of like the spike before the drop. So we will also look at another way to look at it. There's the fact that, <coughs> sorry, the fact that the last few corrections have been because of fears over interest rates. And now when we've seen the same thing happen with interest rates, and bonds, uh, there's been no reaction. But what else has been going on in the market this week? Well, major banks have issued a warning to hedge funds that they will now get an intraday margin call. Now, this is a totally new thing, and it is a big thing, because usually what happens is... They give a warning to these hedge funds out of respect how you could get a margin call uh, in the next few days if you don't show up your balance sheet. And then they give them a margin call. So they feel they have time. Now, they're giving them the warning saying you could get one within a day rather than after market is closed so you can deal with it after market and don't forget that these hedge funds are backed by market makers and in my opinion and it is just my opinion i'm just an idiot on the internet the market makers are the ones manipulating it because they're losing too much money. So they're looking for an excuse so they don't carry on losing money. You know, if you look at the market, charts and fundamentals aren't making sense. So that's why we have to do a bit more extra leg room, uh, leg work to uh, make money. A bit like with our verb play, where we doubled our money, uh, a bit like with our RCAT and our Tempest, where people got sh shaken out because it's, it started going down and down. But in the end, we made money. Anyway, let's get on with the show. Don't forget to hit that lovely like button. 
And don't forget the sexy subscribe button. A lot sexier than me, just ask the wife. And if you want to be a hero, hit the bell notification. You'll be notified when a new video gets uploaded. And why not check out the links in the description below. If you're looking for a free trading platform, you get a free share worth up to 200 pounds, dollars, depending on the platform you use if you deposit a small amount. And now that that shameless plug is done with, if you haven't already, why not check out my free Discord? The link's in the description below. As you can see here, breaking news, Netflix is making its move beyond shows and planning an expansion into video games has hired former EA and Facebook executive. Now, the reason I say about my Discord is there's plenty of things I don't get time to record about, but I put I post loads of links to the news in the Discord. I post plenty of updates and it might be that by the time I get a chance to record, the move has been made. Or I just think there's other priorities that I need to record about. And if we, and I also do like a market review most days, but you can see for yourself that, that I do speak about quite a few things. We're waiting on you army. Uh, the reason for that is that uh, you army has never been very good with PR. You can see that from their website, but they have announced the Ambry deal, which is massive. We knew about this, uh, and the US military deal. This is why we we watch the. This is why we watch and we look through the reports rather than reading someone else's review of the reports. So we don't miss something that someone else might have. And the VISL. And today we should have BRQS. And basically it's chock put packed with information. We we help each other out. You can request a review of a stock and I'll get back to you as soon as, soon as I can. Uh, you know, the, uh, we made money on CPOP, which one of our subscribers uh, asked me to go through and it turned out to be a winner. Anyway, uh, not to keep going on about things. I don't like to do this where I was right, where I was wrong, wrong, because I have been wrong in the past. But I had everyone. This is only because I had everyone telling me how I'm a moron for selling Palantir at twenty-two. Uh, I know there's not much difference at the moment, but when it went above 22, uh, when it gets to 20, I will be, or if it goes below 20, I will be looking in increments of putting my initial investment back in. I do still have three shares, which I got from my profit from trading this. But remember my reasoning, it's gonna be three years before they're profitable the rate they're going price to sales is high it's not like they're a crowd strike who can justify that as a price to sales because crowd strike are on an island by themselves they're the best in business and if you look at for instance sentinel one uh, they are coming down to a good valuation but their price to sales is high they if if they like came down to if they come down a bit more i just think that sentinel one uh kind of where cry strike was um a few years ago now i don't like the balance sheet but it's 
it's not like the worst thing in the world. I think it can. I think it's the kind of business that if it if it comes down to twenty twenty five, it would be worth taking a position in. And now, uh, spoke about Tattoo Chef again when it hit when it hit twenty when it hit twenty twenty dollars. Uh, again, I could have got more. I know, but it hit twenty dollars. I sold half my position. Remember, I was in from ten dollars. It hit thirty. Uh, sorry, hit hit twenty four. I sold out and then when it hit 15 again I went back in and uh, now it's come down to below 20 <coughs> and I will be doubling up my pos position if it falls any lower because I am bullish on this. I do think it's a good company. I, it has a price that sells under 10. And for a company that's grown as much as this, I do think it's massive. It's had nothing but good news come out. And Sophie, again, another one I was berated for, for selling at 20, again, it, it went uh it went above 20 it hit 22 and that just uh, the p critics just felt that justified them but now i managed to load at 15 and the last one catapult holdings now it's a fairly new one of mine. I got in at 10. I sold 11.50. And yesterday, it was hanging around 10.12. I saw a bit of an increase in volume. I put in a limit order at 10 and it filled. So I got to keep my shares and make $150 on it. Uh, I did say on my Discord I expected a choppy month for July. And that's why I said about taking profits uh, or shoring up your cash position so you could take advantage of these kind of plays. Uh, and another company I'm looking into the one I sold out before and it's uh, Holly City if I can get it up sorry about that no finance is killing me at the moment so Holly City which merged with Astra I sold at 15 because I made 50% on it and I wanted to put the funds elsewhere. I said if it would hit 10 or 11 dollars a share, I would go into it and I want to let you guys know. And with space going to be a big thing recently with Bezos and uh, Branson fighting it out. You'd, you'd think these would run but then of course something else came and batted them down and speaking of space for those of you who are bullish on it look at that oh my lord yeah it's, it's almost 50% off what it was Less than a month ago. Talk about by the rumour selling the news. And as I said in my Discord and Twitter feed, it's because as soon as 
he came down from space and landed on Earth, he said, uh, file for more shares, which isn't stupid, it's a sensible thing to do, but dilution is nothing that shareholders like. That's why you don't buy at highs. So if you feel you missed out, now would be a good time to get in. But for me, I just think there's better opportunities out there. The opportunity for space uh, isn't uh, space tourism, because to tell the truth, you ha yeah, you have young CEOs like Elon Musk booking up, and you will have some, say, pop stars and that with the money. So, and uh, foot, footballers, but the majority of the people who have the money won't be fit enough to take the journey. They have to think about uh, screening if, if their body can take it for taking the money. Anyway, that's all from me. I'll see you in the next video.